Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today doing a little comparison to these Scooby-Doo LEGO minifigures. Right now you're looking at a custom Scooby-Doo minifigure that I made a couple of years ago, way before the LEGO even announced that they were going to make official Scooby-Doo LEGO sets. I made the figure because I was a fan of Scooby-Doo and decided that I wanted some Scooby-Doo LEGO minifigures. I was going to make the whole gang, but I actually never got around to it. And here are the three Scooby-Doo figures that I have. Of course, the two official LEGO ones and then the one custom-made one. I bet you're having trouble right now determining which one's the custom-made one and which ones are the official LEGO ones because they're both look, or all three of them, look so similar. So these two are the figures that the Scooby-Doo I'm going to show you right now because they're the ones that are like most similar because the sitting down one is sitting down and it's not standing up like my custom Scooby-Doo. My custom Scooby-Doo is made from the official Lego dog part, the original one that's in a lot of city sets. What I did next was I just painted it. I didn't even use proper paints. I mean, normally when I make customs, I use like testers paint. You know, and all sorts of different, you know, brushes and things to make fine details with. But I remember I wasn't even really into customizing Lego then, so I didn't use any of these. When you look at the minifigure from the side, I didn't actually do that bad of a job. As you can see, their spots are sort of rounder, and mine are pretty straight, but they don't look cool. And I actually have a spot going over the, like, the hump of his back, yet they don't. They have it off to the side there, so that's kind of weird. My tail's sticking way down, and their tail's sticking way up. And I mean, these figure, my figure looks the exact same on both sides. They're like identical spots. It's kind of weird that a dog only has like six spots on the official figure, but mine only has five spots because again, I have that big spot going over the back and stuff. I mean, the collars, they also look pretty similar, you know, with the blue collar around and then the dog tag. I'm not really sure what I was thinking on my dog tag because as you can see, I put this like yellow line next to it and I remember it must have been in a picture I did of the Scooby-Doo because I don't think I would just put it there or leave it there if it was a mistake. As you can see there, there's actually says Scooby-Doo but mine's just a blue dot that I hope looks like Scooby-Doo. The eyes, uh, my eyes are kind of creepy looking, they're like really big white eyes and then really small black part in there so that's kind of weird and I really like the official Scooby-Doo eyes in their figure better just because it actually looks like Scooby-Doo. Also if you haven't noticed the obvious already, the official Lego Scooby-Doo has its paw up while mine just has all four paws down because I used the old, the dog, the classic Lego dog. They didn't. They cheated. They made a new mold. Now let's put it to the test. Which Scooby-Doo looks better with a minifigure beside it? And the minifigure I'm going to use is Shaggy. So I have not yet tried this out. See, my Scooby-Doo looks more like the Scooby-Doo in the movie sort of thing because Scooby-Doo is not the exact same height as Shaggy. But when you put the official Scooby-Doo next to the official Shaggy, it may look better. Thanks everybody for watching this comparison of these LEGO Scooby-Doo minifigures. Let me know down in the comments below which Scooby-Doo you think looks better, the official LEGO one or my custom one. Thanks everybody for your honest comments and I'm just warning you right now that if you rate the official LEGO Scooby-Doo looks better, I will block you from this channel. Thanks everybody for watching, have a great day. I'm just kidding about that blocking part, I need all the subscribers I can get.